It's giving. It's giving me. What is giving? It's giving. It's giving me. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving. Walk a walk a walk a walk a walk a walk a eel. Walk a walk a walk a walk a walk a walk a eel. Walk a walk a walk a walk a walk a walk a eel. Walk a walk a listen. Yo, I'm on the dance floor and I don't give a fuck. I'ma take it. It's taking in my butt. I got a juicy ass with a big ass cock. Yeah, no this point. I'm never gonna stop. I'm not co-brand, but I give super head. I'ma choke on it until I'm dead. I'm a nasty hoe. I'm a freaky. Come on, me boys, y'all watching that addiction to me and and the balls and and to me and and the balls and and the meat. And and the balls and and the meat and and the balls and it's giving it's giving walk a 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 I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm okay. I think. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Hey y'all, it's Bim's Wine House. I walk a walk a walk a walk a walk a walk a you know. Listen, if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Me bulls, you need to take your fingers and hit the thumbs up on this show. I am all right. The devil will not win. Not today. Not today. Listen, um, we have um, some topics. A lot of things going on right now in my life. A lot of, a lot of situations, other situations. Um, I'm not even supposed to be here right now. I'm still in New York. Um, listen, we're going to talk about it. But before the topics that's hot, let's get into a word for magic, natural, beauty, dot com, and Lexi. I walk, 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 I Once upon a time, there was a girl who lived behind a brick fortress. That brick fortress kept her feeling safe until one day she decided to go outside the walls and explore. Outside the walls of the brick fortress, it wasn't safe. But to live means to sometimes seek journeys that your heart really needs to take. I don't know. I was just thinking out loud. Make sure you shop Magic Natural Beauty. For your skin sometimes you have to try things and push past your comfort zone to get the results you need i've been making magic natural beauty for 10 years now and i really do enjoy changing people's lives and helping them achieve moisturized beautiful skin um make sure you shop follow us and follow our instagram we have everything from face masks to shower sponges to black soap to hair accessories so shop match natural beauty and i hope you find what works for you bye i want to shout out to uh magic natural beauty.com you hoes make sure you go check out magic natural beauty.com you can also check them out on tiktok Facebook and Instagram and a walk a walk a you know. Hey Lex. Listen you all, I'm fine. I am fine. Fine, 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 fine. You know that was the worst Mary J. Blige song ever. I hated that song, but I I had to put it on today. Fine. You know, I'm okay. You know, um, I'm actually not supposed to be in New York right now. I'm supposed to be like where I'm going for a couple of months. But I'm staying here until next week because I have to go to a funeral. I have to go to a funeral of a woman who was very close to me who um, you might as well say she was my auntie. This woman passed away last, I think she passed away a week ago or two weeks ago. What's crazy is my, around Thanksgiving, I don't know if I should say this, but 
around Thanksgiving, my mother and my other aunts went to go visit her in the hospital. And when my mother came back to my grandma house, she said to me and my grandma, she said, wow, if she makes it out, if she makes it out of that hospital, it's a miracle. I don't know how bad, you know, this woman looked, but unfortunately she didn't make it out of the hospital and um, her funeral is next week. Rest in peace. Um, what I loved about this woman, gay people, I'm strictly talking to gay people. You know how we gay people get all this hate in this world. You know how the stupid world is about the gay people. But there are straight people. There are straight people who go the extra mile to love on you to show, hey, look, everyone do not hate gay people. Okay, you you just a regular motherfucker. You just suck dick, bitch. You dang, what the fuck is a big deal? You know how it is those people, men and women, who go extra hard just to love on you, just to say, look, the whole the world, and this was that. My auntie was that woman. I'm going to call her my aunt. She was that woman. She loved on, no matter how my mood looked, because everyone, when you see me, I look down, I look over it, you know, but she didn't give a bitch, you better come over here. And, 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 the last time I saw her, she was getting off the bus with her husband. And her husband was going out the front way, but for some strange reason, she came through the back and I was like towards the back. And the last thing I said to her was, I love you. And I rubbed her back and I watched her walk off the bus. And it was like, I was watching her leave this world. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like that's the last thing I seen was just her walk. Now the woman's going, she's going. Rest in peace, Ina. And I believe my little brother, I told you all, he's a preacher. I, I believe he's going to do, he's going to be preaching at the funeral. We, we're going to do everything next Thursday. Um, you know, they're going to bury her that one day. And she has, she had five boys. Oh, yeah, five boys, four or five boys. And when I was younger, I, you know, my mother used to go over her house and bring me over. And I, I think one of the boys is my age or older. Me and him used to, you know, play, whatever. And um, she had a husband. She got five boys. And she used to love the casino, honey. Mama used to love the casino. I, baby, I used to cope with that because when I used to work at the casino, I used to die. Hey, girl, she get, give me a kiss, nephew. Mm. Um, I know you all don't know. They're like, okay, babe, but we don't know how. Look, bitch, relax. Okay, rest. Of, I'm going to speak about my auntie. Rest in peace to my aunt Ina. And, um... What they really should have did was, you know how you have that special place that the people love to go to? They should do the funeral. This was just my little idea. Well, we still can do it. Well, I can't because I'm broke, but um, they should go to the casino. Like they're going to do the funeral. They're going to go bury her. Then they're going to go back to the church to eat. And then they're going to have like a little after party. And then later, I think everyone should go to the casino. Maybe that was her place. She loved that casino, honey. All right, moving on. Relax, bitch. Um, you guys, I'm trying to. St I'm really trying to stay strong. I'm. I'm fucking going through it. My life is a fucking mess. Um, I've been working these past few weeks. Um, I had to raise some money for this little apartment. That I don't want to go. I. I don't want to go to. I really don't want to go, but I, ha I really have no choice. I got to I, I gotta move back to Ohio. But you know what? You know what? It's all right. I'm a little bored with New York. New York is not what it used to be. It's going to be cold, and I'll be back. You know, I'll make it back in a couple of months. It is what it is. So, you know, and, and also I'll be down there with my mother and my cousins, you know. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um... And luckily, the old job that I had in Ohio, bitch, they're going to take me back. And I told them, hoes, I'm only doing three, four days a week. Leave me alone for three, four days a week. Um, so, you know, I'm okay. Um, I'm really not. I really don't. Like, it's crazy. As soon as it's time for me to leave New York again, I start having fun again. Like, this happened the last time when I moved to Ohio. 
I started having fun. I was like, I don't want to leave. I don't know what it was, but now like I'm enjoying. Like, where was this fun at months ago? Anyway, I'll be back, but I'm definitely not coming back to this place. Never again. Um, um, I, I just want to say, I'm just asking those who really, really, really fuck with me. Um, to 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 send a donation or something. I have a GoFundMe set up for my travel expenses and I have to get me a bed and I have to do all this bullshit over. It's all right, bitches, people are way worse situations. Um, luckily I have me a little, a little, little, little studio down here. I can, you know, um, I have a GoFundMe set up. I'll put the link down below. I don't care if you ain't never motherfucking donated to the show. This is the time I'm asking you this one time to send a donation. Um, I went, what's so crazy is that they are helping these motherfucking immigrants and I'm not hating on the immigrants. Do y'all do what the fuck these idiots going to, you know, show love to, to the immigrants before the people in their own country. It is what it is. I ain't worried about that. I get it. The migrants, whatever they, they getting all the, uh, funds from us people. Anyway, I don't talk about that. That's enough. Sir, that's pissed me off. But all I'm saying is if you can send anything, I don't care if you never sent some bitch, you can go to the GoFundMe, which is below. But I'll be honest with you all. I would, if you're going to try to donate something, I would prefer for you to send to the Cash App, to the PayPal, or to the other thing I have. Um, Zelle. Not Zelle. Is it Zelle? Yeah, Zelle. One, one of them. Because fucking uh, GoFundMe, no. I got, I got to be out by next week. Um... Like, all the little money I had, I had to put it towards the fucking deposit and, and rent for this fucking space. I can't find nothing in New York. It's literally nothing. And the fucking rent here is... I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. I'm going to come back in a couple of months. I just need a change of scene. Anyway, I'm not stressing it. Um, I'm actually thankful to my landlord who's here, who allowed me these extra days because we had a deal and I kind of like, you know, but thankful. Even though I think, even though I think her mama tried to put voodoo on me, bitch. But you know, I don't believe in that nonsense. I don't believe in it. Um, I just feel like when you try to do evil to others, it comes back to you. 10 times worse and I a bitch I'm a child of God honey I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't do it all that evil stay away from me with them bad spirits honey I am covered by the blood you know but that's another story anyway I'm not going to dwell so much on that if you can donate it will be very helpful I'm trying to raise at least 600 by next week I know I can um, I just got to get me a bed. I got to rip this. You all know it. I'm so pissed off, but it is what it is. Um, I'm not going to dwell on that. Let me have me a little sip and I'm going to get to the shit that I know my meatballs come here for. We don't need no little sad news, bitch. Give me a second. I'm going to make me a drink, bitch. You get the walk walk Let me just go make me a little sip, a little sippy sip. All right, you know, hold on. Wait, you know what? Let me stop the video. All right, all right, all right. For the next 10 to 15 minutes, I'm going to act like there's nothing going on in my life. My life is perfect right now. I'm just going to imagine this is 2015 when life was good. Both of my best friends was alive and I was happy. I was joyous. I, I, oh, so we're just going to pretend it's that era. I'm going to deliver some news, but just be mindful in the back of my head. I'm going through some things, bitch. Air, walk walker, walker. So let me give you the memo you all love to see. All right. So you all going to see the motherfucking color pink. Wait, no. The color purple. What's the, wait, the color blue. What the fuck was the name of that movie? The color blue? No, the color pink. No, the color purple. The color purple. 
No, it's the color. Bitch, what is the name of the movie? The color pink. Look, I don't want to go for color, bitch. I don't want to go see it. I'm not interested in no color pink, bitch. Or color blue, whatever the big fucking color is. I like, I think it's called the color purple. It got to be called the color purple. Like, bitch, you know I'm slow right there, slow. Yeah, it's definitely called the color purple. Like, I watched the first color purple. It took me years. I'm like, what is these holes? This is what the fuck this movie was about. Movie, slow as fuck. Anyway, they are redoing it. Well, they redid it. And a new one comes out on Christmas. I'm not going to see it. The shit look boring. But I'm sure it's going to do well in the movie theaters. Um, and then Oprah. Because Fantasia, who I love. Baby Fantasia has been slaying the girls. I don't know who's been dressed in Fantasia. You better get that motherfucker a nice bonus check for Christmas. Because, or she, whoever the fuck it was. Because Fantasia, you've been eating up the girls. You've been eating up the girls with them looks. Have you all gone to Fantasia page? Mama just came out styling on you hoes. Um, anyway, this bitch Oprah talking about, oh, uh, I really wanted to cast Beyonce or Rihanna. Oprah, if you, if you don't get, if you don't back it up, bitch, might want to see them hoes. Don't do that to Fantasia. Make me sick that you want to cast Beyonce. Bitch, first of all, Beyonce, Nan, Rihanna, none of them hoes can act, okay? So you bet Fantasia, from what I've been seeing, the little previews. Fantasia's been doing a stellar a job. So you better back it up, Oprah. Speaking of Oprah, since we on the topic of the big hole, am I doing good, you all? You getting a regular bimbo? Okay, we gonna act like I ain't got shit going on. All right, all right, I'm doing good. All right, let's go. Speaking of Oprah, Sister Patterson, Oprah has finally admitted to using her weight loss medication. Because, you know, Oprah, she done lost all this weight. She's 70 years old. Mama that came out snatched. And she, Oprah talking about, um, wait, first of all, let me tell you, you motherfucking Aquarius, you motherfuckers is mean. I forget she's an Aquarius. You motherfuckers is some mean motherfuckers. Anyway, back to Oprah. Oprah said that, oh, I lost this weight loss. I had a healthy diet. And I was doing some hiking. This is, you know, once we seen her, but oh, I had a healthy diet and um, I was doing some hiking up some mountains. Oprah, do we look like Boo Boo the Fool? We know your big ass was not climbing up no mountains with that bad knee, bitch. I don't think nobody believed that, honey. So. She just came out in a minute. So look, you all. You know I'm Aquarius. We lie. Bitch, I have took me some motherfucking weight loss medication pills with a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Oh, what's the big deal, Oprah? You ain't had to lie. You ain't had to lie, Craig. You just had to, bitch, we have a brief. We know you motherfuckers in the hiking, bitch. You look good, Oprah. Mama's been out. And if you're wondering... The pill that she's taking, the same pill or shot that the rest of these celebs is taking, Nicki Minaj, allegedly. Um, what's that That model chick, Eva? Eva and took Tiffany New York. The, uh, what is it called? The Ozemic. 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 Opio. Some motherfucking pill. I wrote it down, but I don't understand my own handwriting. Do you ever write shit and you be like, what the fuck is this? Like, you don't understand your own handwriting. Like, I don't know. Something with her own. But I know that them other hoes is taking it. All right. More news on Oprah. Oprah was recently on the Sherry Shepard show. And... She passed the baton to Sherry Shepard. Yes, basically, here, girl, it's your time. And let me tell you something, bitch. We's the peoples was not having it. They was lighting Oprah up in them comments. The nerve of you disrespecting 
Wendy Williams. Oh, by the way, I, I, like I said, it was like really going in on her on the comments. And I saw one of the comments. Um, it says something about what happened to that school that opened up for them girls. Oprah opened up some school, I think, in Africa for some girls. And all the girls was missing. Since the past, all the polls was missing. So, in the words of 702, Oprah, where is my girls at? From the front to the back. Where's them little girls at, Oprah? Allegedly, because I don't know too much about that story, bitch. Anyway, back to the Oprah. Oh, wait. I put, you know who Oprah actually reminds me of? You don't want to know who she reminds me of. You ever see that episode of Martin? When Gina, best friend, came. I think her name was Monique. Google the episode. Gina, best friend, came to visit her. Her name is Monique. And she tried to act all righteous and above everyone. But Monique was up to some shit. And Martin and, uh, and Pam had to expose her. Well, anyway, Oprah. That's who you remind me of, girl. Monique. Yeah. Anyway, back to the... um. The passing of the uh, the baton. Like I said, the people was lighting Oprah as up. How dare you disrespect Wendy Williams? Like that. Because if you was going to give that baton to anyone, that's who you should have gave it to was the queen of daytime, Wendy. Who, by the way, I'm hearing that Wendy is in Switzerland. I don't know what she doing in Switzerland, but they saying she over there recovering. To come back to shut down on you hoes. Okay. Um, listen, Oprah. This is what I got to say about the situation. You can give the baton to Sherry. Jennifer Hudson. Tamron Hall. The mother white hoes. I respect all them women. But all them hoes is boring. Yes. And you probably don't even watch Sherry. <laughs> because technically, we the people, we passed the baton to Wendy. You didn't have to do that. We did it. That's why she made it to 13 seasons. So you can pass the baton all you want to this Sherry Shepard. But guess what, bitch? We still ain't watching that boring show. I'm not watching her. I'm not watching Jennifer. I'm they, them, All them hoes is boring. <laughs> but respect to them. Anyway, Nisi Nash, who is Sherry Shepard's best friend, she I guess she was tired of people reading Sherry in the Oprah. This is what Nisi had to say from thejasminebrand.com. See, uh, she said, this was never Wendy's show. Girl, bye. Hold on. Where's my notes at? Oh, Lord. My notes is all. Anyway, Nishi said, this was never Wendy's show. That's a lie. She said it was her, it was her time slot. Stop comparing black women to each other. Sherry is live and unscripted. Don't sleep on the skill set. And Queen Oprah can pass the baton to whoever she wants. She picked who she picked and she said what she said. I didn't hear her ask anyone to agree. You go, Sherry. You have waited this for this forever and now your dreams has come true. And Sherry Shepard responded, people forget that your best friend is from Compton. Uh, that's how you defend your best friend. Y yeah, you know, you're gonna, you know, stand up for them. But let me tell you something, you see, okay? You need to get, go somewhere and suck on that plastic dick. <laughs> What's that too mean? I'm sorry. No, shout out to uh, DC Daz. First of all, honey, this is Wendy's show. And to me, Sherry is just a stand-in. And it will always be Wendy's show. Because Sherry, what you were supposed to do was, when these people offered you Wendy's Williams show, you were supposed to tell these souls, this is no longer Wendy's show. 
take me out that studio. I do not look, I do not want this show to look like Wendy's. That whole show is based from the beginning of the show, from the song, from when you come out, how when you come out the same door Wendy Williams came out, the couch is the same, the setup is the same. Only thing that changed was the host. Suzanne is gone. You still got Marco. You still got the same DJ, uh, Wendy Williams. This is Wendy Williams' show. It's just a different host, honey. If they was going to give you that show, you were supposed to say, look, bitch, I want you to change up all this shit. You do hot topics. You do, uh, you know how when they come out, how you doing? And she goes, how we go, how you doing? You go, hey, family. And they go, hey, sh this is all Wendy. So you got this show off the, uh, off the back of Wendy Williams. This is why we, the people, come for you. This is why we, the people... Like, I will watch if it was entertaining. But it's just not. And the fact that you're doing the whole format of Wendy, you were supposed to do it a shit. Like, we was not supposed to get hot topics from you. Anyway, enough of that. If you watch Sherry Shepard, watch it. You don't, you don't. All right, bitch. Moving on to this Nicki Minaj album because somebody said they wanted to hear my thoughts on the new Nicki Minaj album, Pink Friday 2. Well, I thought it was corny, just like her last albums. There's my opinion. What more needs to be said? Very corny. I, I went through it. Nothing on there caught my attention. But one song she has with uh, that little gay rapper, uh, um, everybody, I was like, all right, that's the only song. The rest of that, I will never listen to them songs ever again. Um, no, seriously, Nikki has never done it for me, and that's all right, because she has millions of fans. She has millions of you barbs, so one person I like in her is not going to like kill her career. Um, and you guys got to remember, I come from the Little Kim and the Foxy Brown era. Those are my girls. So these little bubblegum rap chicks don't... Like, I come from the era where the females spit. They went up to radio stations. They did interviews. And you got to freestyle. These chicks don't even know what a freestyle is. So these 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 Cardi B's, these Nicky's... No, I like Cardi B. I like her. I like a few of her songs. Um... But what I will say, this Pink Friday too, and I've seen a lot of her barbs was upset. Okay, they're like, girl, this is what you kept pushing back. But I will say most of your fans, Nicki Minaj, are gay men and are trannies. So with that being said, you really should do at least one gay pride next year. Yeah, I have not seen her perform at No Gay Pride, and most of her fans is gay boys and these trannies. And the reason there are so many trannies is because of Nicki Minaj. All these trannies want to look like her. Like back in the days, you know, we gays, we loved Foxy and Kim. You know, we still, you know, do it. Yeah. But bitch, we wasn't trying to be and look like them. These new gay boys want to look like Nicki Minaj. This is why they all turn it into a tranny. So, Nicki Minaj, next year, you need to do at least one gay pride. Because these gays are the ones holding your career up, bitch. Because I don't see no straight men listening to no Nicki Minaj. Ladies, you know if your man come pick you up and you get in his car and he got Nicki Minaj on, is your coochie getting wet? Is you getting like, mm -mm, oh no, you was a barb. Oh, no. Now, what I will say on the flip side, straight men, they do listen to Sexy Red. Look, don't, don't ask me. I don't, know, I don't know who make up these rules, but the men love them some Sexy Red. I, I, look, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I like me some Sexy Red. <sighs> anyway, moving on from Nicki Minaj. Um, no, but seriously, shout out to Nicki Minaj. And what I do respect her is that it's unheard of for a female rapper to make it... Like, I'm going to give credit to her. This is like her fifth album. By most females, by their second album, they're done. You know what I mean? So, for her to be at her fifth album and still has have this hype and still have current music and people going... I actually give credit to her for being consistent. I wish that Kim and Foxy 
was as consistent as her with their music. You know, they take years. Fox didn't have an album since, what, 1952. Kim, I don't know what Kim doing. Her music has just been horrible. She's tried. I told you all, I like one Kim song in the past 15 years. That was um, some song she had on her album, Nine. I forget the name of it. Um, something. Anyway. All right, look, moving on, bitch. So Cardi B says that she is single from Offset. And girl, we will believe it when you get a divorce. Like we heard it all before, bitch. You know you ain't leaving that man. I believe it when I see some when Cardi B files for divorce. Divorce is final. Then I will believe in it. But you know you're going back to that offset girl. Just like uh, that for Sean Rock. She knows she ain't leaving that blue face. She knows she's not leaving two, them two fools in love. Talk about, talk about she found gay porn in his phone. And guess what, bitch? You still going to be sucking his gay dick, bitch. You know you is for Sean. You know how I many of these straight men is out here who love watching and jerking their dick looking at gay porn. Oh yeah, especially that tranny porn. These gay men, these straight men love looking at some um, tranny porn and the gay porn. So about they straight. Yeah. Anyway, speaking of the gay porn, I had this fine ass dude over the other night, Sister Patterson. Did you hear me in there munching? Tall, brown, dreads. Well, D had him. Not Bimbo, but D. And I said, oh my God, I forgot. I want to bring back my OnlyFans. So right at the end, when he was about to milk it, I took my phone and up, up, up. He milked it, honey. Um, so it's on my OnlyFans. Yeah, I don't care. I don't give a. I don't give a fuck. Go to my OnlyFans. The link is. Look in the comments. And I have some. I'm, I'm gonna put some only like some other footage on here. Yeah, I have a lot of footage. I'm gonna show. It's it's my OnlyFans. It's what. It's not me. It's D. It's what D likes. I told you all, I love to watch a man, like, pleasure himself. And this guy was pleasuring himself, and I think he knew I was watching. I'll put that up on the OnlyFans, too. Go check it out. Um, it's D like that. So, look in the comments, go check it out, and I'm going to put more footage, I don't care, alright, um, ah, oh, man, any more topics, oh, I want to shout out to my guardian angel, you know who you are, you told me when I was moving to let you know, well, I'm letting you know, boo. I love you. She knows who she is. My guardian angel. Alright, you guys, listen. I don't know if there's any more show. I had another... Oh, where's... Man, listen, I think I threw it out. It was one more shoot I had... Oh, I think I know where it is. Is this it? Nope. Nope. This is not it. 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 This is it. Nope. Oh my god, where's that other sheet at? Let me see. One more sheet, you guys. Give me a second, because I had another sheet I wanted to do. All right, I found it. 
Listen, these are some topics that I saw that I just want to get my, like, I really don't give a fuck. I just want to get my opinion on real quick. So, this is going to be called Two Minutes or Less, because I'm going to try to do this in two minutes or less. Okay, here we go. Tiffany Haddish has been officially charged with a DUI after she was caught sleep behind the wheel intoxicated. Let me tell you something, bitch. I can't stand a motherfucker who want to drink and get behind a motherfucking wheel. You know how many people done died because people want to get a little drink, a little something. If you cannot handle your liquor, do not get behind a motherfucking wheel, bitch. So she's been charged and somebody said the judge need to charge her for them cornies, for them corny ass jokes. Shakira, Shakira, Shakira. Next, bitch. Ford's has updated Beyonce's network to 800 million. What are we supposed to do with this information, bitch? Is she giving the beehive a motherfucking Christmas bonus? If she is, baby, I would be out, buddy. I've been loving Beyonce since um, Crazy in Love. Okay, I go to all her concerts. I just went to her concert. Okay, uh, uh, I'm black, bitch. I'm cozy. Shout out to me all say, girl, if you give it the beehive a motherfucking bonus, bitch. Walka walka air. I love you so be awesome. All right, moving on. The Megan the Stallion is finally speaking out about Tory Lanez. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. When I tell you, I'm so sick of all the holes, the big foot, the midget. She told me, I, I just don't care. Okay. Diddy, dumb people do not want you down to the Grammys. They do not. I'm gonna, Listen, if I was Diddy right now, I would just retire. I, you got enough money. I, I, I would just retire. Bitch is over. Do you all think he will recover? I just think he needs to go away for a while and just lay low and just it like th th these people. Th have you all been seeing all the things this man's been dropped from? It's like these people just don't want no parts of this man at all. When it rains, when it rains, it pours. Believe me, I know. Anyway, whatever, girl. Them people know what you at the Grammys, Puffy. Some woman accused takeoff from the Migos. This man is dead. Mind you, you guys. Anyway, this woman has accused uh, a takeoff of sexual assault and she told the judge I want you to make his mother the defender since he died in the lawsuit yeah. let me tell you something these people gave hell to this woman more than they gave hell to Oprah everybody in the comments said look young lady you need to get the fuck on this man is dead if this man did sexual assault you in my eyes the man was shot and killed bitch the justice is served if you if you want a little check bitch say that Just, like if someone had raped me sister Patterson and this man was shot and killed justice is served bitch if you don't get the fuck on listen that that just anyway I gotta go finish packing um Again, if you have never made a donation towards my show, this is the time, one time I'm really asking you to send something. I'm trying to raise at least 600 by next week. Hell, if I can six of my rich meatballs, because I got some rich meatballs, my, my meatballs got coins. The meatballs got, if I can get six of my meatballs to send $100 a piece, that will do me. I can get my little rental car and get the fuck on next week. Give me a bed. I stop my job. The first, I'll be all. Right. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be all right. I'm go. I'm. I know I'm going to be all right. Someone said one thing about you, Bimbo. You are resilient. This was a special woman who said that. She said you were so resilient. No matter how many times you get knocked down, you get your ass up. So I'm not even fully to the ground. I'm halfway to the ground, but I'm. I'm still up. I'm still up. So if, hell, six of my meatballs are sent a hundred apiece. Bitch, that would really do good. Um, all right, you guys, I gotta go. I'm not even taking half of this shit with me, bitch. I'm not. I might not even take Sister Patterson. Like, bitch, you might stay your ass up here. 
I'm not taking half of this shit. I'm not. You know, you look at your, look around in your house, you got all this junk that you don't even use. The most we use is our phones, our TVs, a uh, whole bunch of junk. All right, you all. I hope I did good to mask up the pain I'm going through. Again, rest in peace to Ina. We will, we we're going to rep you on Thursday, girl. Um, and I thank you guys for letting me just be me and just having someone to come talk to. And um, I'm going to try to do one more show before I leave this place. And for the Patreon people, I'm going to do a little recording video of what this place looked like. Because a lot of you all want to see. So for the Patreon, I'm going to record something. Just to show you, it ain't much. But you all want to see what the dungeon looked like. So I'm going to do that for the Patreon members. All right. I'll talk to you all. And again, if you ain't up, please send a donation, guys. All right. I'll talk to you all in the next show. Waka waka out. Bye-bye.